this is the Pi Supply. It's an intelligent power switch and it comes in kit format, so you're going to have to solder the thing together. Think of it very much like um, the sort of buttons you get in front of a normal PC. You have a power switch and a reset switch, um, and that's similar to what this is basically doing, um, but for the Raspberry Pi. Now, what you get on it is three simple buttons. You get the on button, um, which turns the device on. You get the off button, which is like a kill switch. It just basically cuts the power straight to, from the device. And you have what we call the soft off button, which is basically the intelligent part of this device. And when you press the button, it sends a signal to the GPIO. There's Python code running in the background, which will detect that um, button input press. And when you do that, it will send a halt command to the system. And the halt command will tell the system to gracefully shut down. The system shuts down, but does not power down. So the device actually powered up, but the system is shut down safely. The capacitor starts to drain slowly and about two minutes later, the power will actually be shut off, um, actually cutting the power to the device. So let's just get this set up. We have our Raspberry Pi, and we're gonna plug in our USB power cable. Um, you should actually get one of these cables in your pack, which is quite nifty. Um, so plug that in. And then what you then need to um, plug in is the cable that connects to the GPIO. Now, the cable is actually mandatory. Without it, the Pi supply won't work properly. What you'll notice is if you don't plug this cable in, then the, um, you'll turn it on, and after two minutes, it will shut down. And that's due to the way that the, um, the code actually keeps the device running. There's a capacitor on board which holds the charge, which keeps the on switch relay, which is that little black box in the bottom right-hand corner of the device, on. So plugging in to pins uh, 7 and 8, um, pin, the white pin goes to 7 on the actual Raspberry Pi, it's labelled up really easily, so you should be able to connect it up with no bother. And then once you've done that, plug in the, um, the mains power cable, which actually goes to the, um, the wall socket. And then once that's done, we're just going to quickly test it out. So simply press the on switch, and that supplies power to the device, and the capacitor starts to charge, and the relay turns on. If you press the off button, that literally just is like a kill switch. Like I say, it just turns the power off. Um, but like I say, it's an intelligent device, so what we're going to need to do is get the code that's going to run in the background to make this thing actually function properly. So go to the Pi Supply website and you'll notice there's two different um, implementations of the code. One is using um, interrupts and one is using a simple while loop. Um, I'm going to use the um, interrupts command because the while loop is a lot more CPU intensive and the interrupts is a bit more um, efficient as code, um, but the while example is a bit more um, simpler to understand. So we're going to log into our Pi, either um, SSH or terminal via the desktop. We're going to make a directory called Pi Supply in our home directory. And then what we're going to do is run the sudo um, nano command and then give the um, Python script a name. And that name is going to be softshut.py. So it's a soft shutdown, a graceful shutdown. Then we're going to simply paste our code into there. And then just do a control X in Y, which for yes to save. So we need this script, this code, to be running in the background when the Pi boots um, so that when we press the button, the system actually shuts down. So to do that, we're going to edit a, command, um, edit a file called rc.local, which is in the slash etc. directory. And then we're going to um, paste into the bottom of this file a uh, command, which basically is the Python command, and then the path of our script. Um, and then when the system boots, this will be the last script that's run after all other services have um, run on our Linux system, and it will be running in the background. So I'm just going to quickly reboot my Pi, um, just to ensure that when the device comes back up, um, this script is running in the background. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly reconnect my SSH session, and we'll now see that, um, there we go, my Pi is ready to go. And then what I'll do is come to my Pi supply, and I'm just going to press the, uh, the soft off button, um, which sends the signal to the GPIO pins, and we'll see that at the moment the device is still powered on. Um, but what you'll notice, when I actually press that button, the halt command is then sent to the device, and the system actually shuts down and starts shutting down the actual um, the operating system. But despite the fact the system has gone into a, a graceful shutdown, the actual power is still supplied to the Pi. You can see there that the power light is still turned on. Now, a bit of time is going to pass, about two minutes, and simply the device, after that time, shuts off, and that is an incredibly graceful shutdown of your Raspberry Pi. So if you want to watch more videos, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, or subscribe to YouTube channels to get all the latest videos.